Ladies and gentlemen, we have some breaking news out of the NFL. Zach Martin and the Cowboys have agreed to a new deal where he will be making north of $18 million in each of the next two years. Martin was scheduled to be a $13.5 million, so a nice $4.5 million nice. payday this year and $14 million next year, $4 million, so it's an additional $8.5 million. Both years have also been fully guaranteed nice. personal. Way to get a deal done down there, boys. Wow. Zach Martin, in everybody's eyes, the best guard in the league. I mean, yeah. obviously, Quentin Nelson has something to say about that, and there's others around the league that are fantastic. But he and the Cowboys have been at a stare down because he has been great at his job since the day he got into the NFL. Mm -hmm. He had been paid the highest guard in the NFL, and then as this offensive line payday thing started happening, he slid down the ranks. Now they're able to come together, add another $8.5 million, make it fully guaranteed. And Zach Martin, one of your best players, is back in camp, happy to be a cowboy that's good news for everybody yeah especially because you know coach mike big mike said that he's going to run the ball more because you know callen wanted to you know put up points on light the up score sure. the scoreboard big mike wants to win football games you know play safe make sure fucking dak is safe with the ball and then you get you know tony pollard's not a big guy and you get deuce Fucking hiding behind fucking... Deuce seems to be as electrifying as he was in college in the NFL. Yep. Quick cuts, and we all saw Darren Sproles mm -hmm. and what he was able to do from being a little bit undersized behind an offensive line. Now you see me, whoop! Now you don't. He might be able to be that with his dad working there. That was a memorable yep. moment mm -hmm. from draft mm -hmm. weekend, obviously. But I think Jerry Jones, didn't he say originally he wasn't going to do a deal? Yep. Yeah. And then Jerry's like, yeah, we ain't, we, we're going to pay. We're, we ain't paying him, boy. We're... All right. All right, how about this? Thing? Thing. <laughs> yeah. this thing. Nah, listen, he's got to show up if he wants to play here. He's got to. We have deals in place for a reason. He's been paid very, very well. Mm -hmm. Hey, you could. Hey, what? How was he need? Eight and a half million more? Fully guaranteed? Yeah. Fucking deal. All right. <laughs> See, Jim Mersey, that's how that fucker works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you talk publicly out of one side of your mouth. Yep. Mm -hmm. Privately, you talk out of the other. Then you get deals done. You got your guy back. That's what you need to do. You're welcome, Jim Mersey, is what Jerry Jones is potentially thinking. But there was a time not too long ago, we didn't think a deal was going to get done no. between the Cowboys and Zach Martin. Now they have it. All vibes are high. Good for them. Yeah, it makes sense. It's not the same deal as, like, the Bosa thing, but it's like this guy's the, yeah. the best guard in football. You need to have him on your team, especially, like Tone said, if you're trying to run the ball 40 times a game this year. Well, and also – Having your good guys in the building is good. Yeah. yeah team leader. Like, we, we've sounded like Marx a little bit today talking about that. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in the building, guys. Please. Come on. Come on. For the team. We'll and they're all thinking, like, fuck you. Do you guys ever think about our side? It's like, yeah, we understand that. But, like, also, if you, this is for the teams, too, not just the players. Like, if you're going to get a deal done with Bosa inevitably, get a deal done with them. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, fucking get a deal done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he doesn't do anything in training camp. You don't think he does anything in the training room? You don't think he does anything in the meeting room? You don't think he does anything in the cafeteria, in the hotel, in the dorms, wherever you're at, whenever everybody else sees that he's there, mm -hmm. bought in and all in? Like, that's a big thing whenever you're building your team. And I know it's a long season and you can do whatever you got to do, but, like, get a deal done. If, if you're going to end up getting a deal done, the sooner the better here so we can fucking all kind of benefit from their presence, even if it's not exactly on the field. Like we've always said, 53 fingers is a lot of fingers. Well, if you close 53 fingers into a fist, yeah. that's a real power. Mm -hmm. You're damn right. Amen. Well said. So, Zach Martin with the Cowboys. Yeah. Now they're a fist. Now they're a fist. Because it was this. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He was out here. And, he, and he, they, were, they were throwing punches. One lick. Like, yeah. <laughs> one kick in the armor. Like get a finger. Calling you eye pokes with this. Yeah. Yeah. That's not going to get You're it. not going to win a championship with eye pokes. No, no, you're not. They say, you know what, Zach? Let's bring you into the fray. Exactly. Boom. Boom. Bang. You think Jim calls Jerry? He says, what the fuck? Here's the church. <laughs> Here's Staple. Yep. Look inside all people. Wow. Boom. That's, That's Cowboys now. That's yeah. Cowboys locker room. That's Cowboys now. Mm -hmm. Zach Martin's walking through the middle. with He's the thumb. That's yeah. right. Everyone's going crazy. Good for them. What a good deal done, Jerry. Yeah. Good work. I hope Jim does. I hope Jim does. With Jonathan Taylor. He's oh. back in the building. Still wants to be traded. Cool. Thanks for coming back. Jesus Christ. Uh, why would the deal get done now? And this, like, do you think this hurts next year too? Like, if he does play, not they what need, he has. They but. need to negotiate a negotiation period eight weeks into the season. Yeah, that's just an easy out. Hey, listen, play good for eight weeks, right? Let us get off the ground here. Sure, because we're already stumbling. Let's see how it's going to look. New offense, new system, new coach, new quarterback. 
Let's see how it works, and then we'll negotiate. He had six touchdowns last year, so let's – yeah, miss miss six games too. So yeah. you know, and we're building here. Let's just think maybe that's how they move on. I don't know how else they would do that. But then to I forget who said it. Somebody brought it up. Well, then Jim setting precedent. And it's like no, because situations are situational. This is with fucking Jonathan Taylor. Bingo. I don't think the punter or kicker is going to be like yeah. You negotiated with Jonathan Taylor weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would like to do the same. It's like, fine. you can always make excuses for why things don't work, mm -hmm. but also we can find a fucking answer to make things work right now. You would seem somewhere in a conversation, but who knows if they're even doing that. Yeah, it feels like all roads are leading to him getting franchise tag next season. What's he going to do this year? Just sit up and that. just show up and hate it? Bye.